Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mel B and welcome to today's video. Today is especially interesting for photography interested people, so welcome. And everyone else might also find it interesting. I asked on Instagram if this would be something you would be interested in. And a lot of people were like, yeah, of course, please take us with you. So now today we're gonna go out and shoot. It's not exactly a book shoot, so it would be still slightly different if you would book me, but it's somewhat what you could expect if you would book me. Today's a model call. My gorgeous friend Sarah is modeling for me because I had an idea pop in my head uh, with these gorgeous wildflowers are out there. So that's what we're gonna do today. Every great photo shoot starts with some sort of preparation. Some are more intense, some are less intense. Today was somewhat intense. It was kind of last minute because I was like, hey, I have this idea and I would like to do that before I'm busy again because I have a few days uh, where I don't do any photo content because I almost am done with all my sessions to edit. I don't have any other sessions come up until Sunday. So I have a little bit creative free time. It's a holiday today, so I was like, it's a perfect day to go out and shoot. And of course, take you with me. At first, I want to start with showing what I will pack. Uh, today is a little special, like I already said. It's a last minute thing, it's a model call, so it's somewhat different from my regular book shoots. But you can get an idea of what a shoot with me looks like roughly. Or if you also are a photographer, and you don't have the experience with creative shoots, I can just give you a little behind the scenes. I'm also very open to hear from you what could help me. I'm doing this as a hobby, so I don't want to be all serious about, oh, I can get my numbers better or whatever, right? It's just a little for fun. So if you're curious, let's dive into what I'm packing for today. So this is my photo bag. It looks like a regular backpack, but it's actually my photo stuff in there. I love this bag. I'm gonna go into detail in another video why I love it so much, how I got to it, how many bags I tried before I found this one. Let's open it and see what's inside. My camera's not in there right now because I'm filming on it, but I'm gonna bring the camera, I'm gonna bring the tripod that is on, I am gonna bring the lens that is on my camera right now. It's the 24 to 70 2.8. RF lens from Canon and I'm also gonna bring the 70 to 200 monster my husband always calls it my safari lens or my national geographic lens which is it's quite heavy I can make another video about lenses and stuff uh, later on but now I want to focus on the shoe I'm also bringing this microfiber tissue uh, because when it's like a little wet or it starts a little raining I'm still staying out there, especially with L lenses, there's no need to hide under something or stop shooting or bring an umbrella because they're waterproof. Well, obviously don't hold them underwater, but if it's raining a little bit, it's fine. I shot in heavy rain before, it was totally fine. I have to say I shot in rain before when I had my non-L lenses, but I had an umbrella with me, so it was totally fine as well. I am bringing my lens aid little Mackie which I usually don't use anymore because it gave me weird skin tones. I don't know. It's full of filters. Um, I can make another video about filters too. Just let me know if you're interested. The topics that come first in the comments or my Instagram of private people asking me, my friends asking me. Surprisingly a lot of friends ask me to shoot some specific content which is funny but keep it going. So I have video ideas which I hopefully have without people asking me for special content too, but this is stuff that I want to answer first. I'm obviously bringing this. It's not on my camera right now because we're not outside, but it is like a shade to keep. For, well, the 2470 shade is a little not that helpful because it, it's, as you see, it's like quite uh, skinny. Is that the right word? It doesn't cover as much. Whereas the shade from the 70 to 200 is quite massive and that's the lens I usually use for my portrait shoots. So I, I sometimes switch back to this one if I wanna have a wide shot or a lot of landscape on it, but usually I wanna concentrate on the people and I wanna get a lot of bokeh to make the subject stand out. That's what my photography is about. I'm going to bring this bad boy here. It's like a phone holder for uh, on top of the camera. I 
can show you in a second. You are putting this on, in German it's called Kabelschuh. I don't know what it's called in English, probably slider or something, whatever. So this comes on here and then you can screw it on and then it holds your phone and you can basically like shoot and film it all. Which in my case, there's a microphone on top of that right now. So it doesn't have space, but I'm bringing it. I'm also gonna bring another battery. Actually, I'm bringing two of those. So one's in my camera, two is in my backpack, just in case I need them. We don't want it to run out. That's a very important thing. If you don't have any extra batteries, get them. I usually also have these fairy lights in my backpack, two kinds, I'm gonna show you later on. I took them out for hiking because it was all additional weight. I had my photo bag so full, so I had to sort out. But I am a person that keeps a lot of stuff. I can't get rid of stuff and I'm also overpacking because I'm always afraid, oh my God, what if I get in this uh, situation and I don't have this and this, which is, I'm an engineer, so usually I don't come in situations where I don't have any other solution for a problem, but my internal whatever is anxious and needs everything in a backpack. That's why I carry around like 20 kilos every time. <laughs> Last but not least for my technical gear, I'm gonna bring this one. Um, this is the camera I'm probably gonna film on because I don't know yet how it's gonna look like and how loud it is with the autofocus but I do not want to film on a phone. I want to have this a professional content channel so I want to try to film almost always on camera but if I'm out and I don't have my camera or if I'm like you know I'm, I'm hiking in Garmisch and the Alps I'm not gonna bring a second camera that doesn't make any sense so I'm just gonna film on my phone sometimes but I'm trying to keep it mainly on cameras. So this is my old camera I had it quite a while, another story, another time, you know it, um, but I'm gonna bring this to film. This is a crop sensor camera, it's the EOS 700D, so it is a something like a Rebel I guess, but very old. It has a prime lens on it called the Nifty 50 because almost everyone has it, it's quite cheap, it's like 200 bucks, I knew. And it's just a back, good backup lens and that's why I'm using it for filming. I don't know if it's gonna be so good for filming. We will see out in the forest. I'm also gonna bring bug spray because in the evenings, in the summertime, bugs are so bad in the forest and in the fields, it's wild. And one of the last items in my bag, which is not technical, but kind of, this is rain cover because my backpack is not rainproof. And I just, it's, it's not even the one from the same brand. I don't know if I'm allowed to say the brand. I'm gonna put it on the back here so I don't see the brand. But this is from a hiking backpack. It's just a little bigger than the size of my photo backpack, but I'm just gonna roll it up and bring it in there all the time, just in case. Even if it's not raining and I have to put the backpack down on the forest floor, I don't want it to be soaked up because my stuff's in there and it takes forever to dry and it's getting nasty. This is good to have. So I have a whole bunch of dresses in my client closet, but this one is one I would probably go for for today's shoot. It's very cottage, very light, very simple, and it's gonna be good with the flowers. This one is a little risky, but I would also love to see that um, with nice bra underneath or something. The color is just very classy too. I would love to see that in a field with flowers. It's very cottagey as well. Might go well with a hat. I don't know yet if we do flowers or a hat. We will see. I have the same one in like army green, olive green, I would say. But I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna go that well. <laughs> because um, I, her skin color, she's very pale like me. And she has red hair. So it will go very good, but it does not fit the flower aesthetic kind of thing. It's more boho. This is more boho with a hat and boots, but I would like to go for something more like innocent and girly. I might have her come over earlier because I might want to do one of those belt things to accentuate her waist. She has a very thin waist, so maybe that's gonna look really good. I am also gonna bring this blanket in case she has to sit down somewhere. It's also very like old school. This little flower basket I'm gonna use for putting the flowers in. And I'm gonna get the flowers now. These are the flowers. Oh my god, I'm gonna it. Okay guys, so you saw what's in my bag. 
you saw the dresses I envisioned, you saw the flowers, even though you probably didn't hear me talk over all that loud noise from the paper. You might want to know how I found the location. Usually researching locations is like a whole different topic. Today we're going to use a general area of a shoot I've already been at because I just really liked the area there and I'm going to take you with me. Maybe you also wonder how I got the idea or how I get inspired. I don't really go on Pinterest or anything. I didn't do that yet. I think that might be a thing in the future if I'm out of ideas, but I'm a very creative person, so I'm just winging it. I just had the idea. I thought of my friend immediately. I didn't even think about anyone else. And then I asked her, she had time. Today we're both off and we're gonna make it happen. This is it. See you out in the field. It's now recording, I think. Go up more. Look at my gorgeous client and model. <laughs> All right, gonna bring it up more so we can see what's going on. Cool, we're gonna shoot right in there. Maybe I'm actually coming closer. Can you stand in there already? Um, just hold them for now and we can do like the bucket. It's already so gorgeous. Get them to close. <laughs> it's dumb because I don't have a zoom lens, but we'll make the best of it, right? So we switched locations. We're now at a flower field with gorgeous Sarah again. Because the thunderstorm was rolling in, we want to switch off background. Want to grab the camera real quick? Can you do the hair swing again? Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Can you look down to your yeah. shoulder when you do that? Okay. One, two, three. Can you swing back? Oh my God. The sun's coming in. Dude. Okay, wait, I have to take a video because it looks fake. It looks so fake. Guys, look at this. I'm just gonna swing over. We're by a street. The sun is peeking through this tree. Oh my god. Okay, back to Sarah. <laughs> okay, another one for the Instagram real quick. Look down your shoulder. Swing back and forth. So we can do like a swing back and forth with the basket thingy. Just like, yeah, okay, wait one second. One, two, three. I don't know if you can see it, but look what I got. Crazy. And there's a thunderstorm. You can hear it. It's crazy. The sun is out too. It's also crazy. I don't know. It's wild. My phone just flew out of the holder. Wild. This is wild. Alrighty. Let's get going. Yeah, that's way better. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm super far away. All right, guys. Am I on there? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, guys. I didn't film for the past 20 minutes, so <laughs> you're gonna just see a few snippets, but that's gonna be fine. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous view. 
and we're good. Cool. I'm filming in the kitchen slash living room slash dining room right now. Um, I just wanted to hop on here real quick to say a few words about the Hugo Serra. We went to a rapeseed field that was kind of out of bloom already, so it was not that crazy yellow anymore, more subtle colors, and it was really cool there. Second camera setup with a 50mm lens is not good for vlogging. I found out the hard way. That's why the second part of the shoot was filmed on my phone, which is way better. I'm gonna do that for now until I find another solution for that. Um, it's not quite the quality I was intended to get, but I think for behind the scenes videos it's fine. So you can at least see what I'm doing. When I even was talking in front of the camera, I was so far away and it was kind of windy because a thunderstorm was rolling in. So you couldn't really hear me and it was like a crop sensor camera and it was like kind of zoomed in because of the 50 millimeter lens. Um, it was not quite the fit that we needed. We were shooting there, it was awesome. We had bug spray because we needed that in the evening. There was a thunderstorm rolling in and it was so dark and it started raining and Sarah was like, I'm all about it, let's shoot in the rain if your camera can handle it. I'm like, sure. We kept hearing stuff in the forest and was kind of creeping us out. So we just packed our stuff and went. Going home, we were like, let's just stop at the flower field. That's what we did, just on the side of the street because the thunderstorm was still coming in. We did and it was epic. And that's why I'm on here because I feel like the pictures speak for themselves. It was really awesome and it was really dark background. The little shoot spot was really nice, it was windy. There was a little tree line covering the field so we didn't get quite the windy shots in the beginning but then in the end we did. That was really adding to the mood. The thunderstorm coming closer and you could hear the thunder and like the wind picked up even more. A little gap in the clouds opened up. There was maybe a strip of five meters that was full of sunshine around Sarah and that was it. The rest was dark and it was windy and it was epic. We have a little cuddle bug here and he's scratching me if I don't pick him up. He's purring now. Anyway, this is why I came on here to talk about the session again. I originally planned to go to the camera and say, hey, we're doing this, hey, we're doing that. I'm taking this lens now, I'm taking these settings. Look at this picture I took. But with the thunderstorm rolling in, I didn't have the time to do that. So I was like, okay, fuck it, let's just do pictures. And they turned out amazing. So thank you, Sarah. I know you're gonna watch this. Uh, you did awesome and I love working with you. Next time I'm gonna talk about a little workshop I set up with some friends of mine. You're gonna have behind the scenes clips, funny moments, settings, posing, whatever you can imagine. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Hit like and subscribe, maybe turn the notifications on so you know when my next video is coming out. And I'm already happy to have seen you again here today. Thank you for tuning in and bye. Bye guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you.